Detecting breast cancer early is critical to a good prognosis and less aggressive therapy. The key that we use now for early detection is a screening mammogram. And we strongly recommend starting at age 40 and doing it yearly until at least age 75, and then continue to do it as long as you're in good health. But if it turns out you end up with major health problems, you can, you can stop doing the mammogram at that point in time. The, this does not help women under 40, and women under 40 develop about 20% of the cancers that we see. For them, the only major layer of protection is doing breast self-exam with confidence. So we are committed at BreastLink to teaching women how to do breast self-exam with confidence. And you can link to the video that walks you through it step by step. But the point is, you need to know your own breast pattern. You have to have a crystal clear mental image of the normal. Once you know the normal, and you do the exam regularly, if something grows in there, you're better than your doctor at finding a subtle change. But this goes to step number two. Once you find a change, what are you gonna do? You've got to find a doctor that'll listen to you because a change can be so subtle that it's oftentimes doctors say, oh, don't worry about it. Oh, your mammogram's normal. Oh, it's just fibrocystic. Oh, you're just too young. Well, you know what? The answer to that is no. I've noted a change. You better do an evaluation to figure out what it is. So a diagnostic ultrasound, a diagnostic mammogram. If any questions, you do a core needle biopsy. But if everything's negative, you don't just say bye-bye, I'll see you later. You say you come back at two, four, and six months. And if there's any changes in between, then you call back and see me sooner. So putting all these things, these layers of protection together, self-exam, mammogram, and now we know something very big about early detection. We know the mammogram is not perfect, but we now have technologies like ultrasound, MRI, molecular imaging. These things can pick up those cancers that are missed on the mammogram. And we put all these layers of protection together, and we can guarantee a high probability of early detection, great survival, and fantastic clinical results. We now have patients that come to us with early breast cancers where we can make them look and feel better than they did before they had the breast cancer. So in short, the women with a very large breast end up with smaller, perkier breasts with a cured cancer. The women who we can't save the breast on, we do the nipple sparing mastectomy, and they end up with a, a shape that they're really enthusiastic about. So it's all good news when it comes to early detection.